Again, here we're on Brunswick Avenue. We have a resident here, David Fisher. He says that this felt like an explosion when it first went off. At first I felt the rumble with like a, a slight boom. So I first I thought it was part of the construction. And the next thing you know, my boss comes in and she was like, oh my God, did you feel that? I don't think we're getting any storms after what has been an absolutely brutal week of weather in the city. I mean, Degan, mm -hmm. some of the ugliest days in memory were Tuesday and Wednesday yes. of this week. Would you not agree? Um, I would say to a couple of days ago, I would not have used the word biblical, but today, biblical. Uh -huh. It's been a biblical week. In New York City, nearly 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Look at this lightning striking the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. We want to show you a picture. This is from here in New York. Lightning striking the Statue of Liberty. I mean, initially, within the first couple seconds, the, the dogs uh, reacted um, to something. And, I, and then within about a second or so, it felt like an explosion, um, sounded like an explosion. And you felt waves come up from underneath you. Um, and my initial reaction was that the furnace had exploded. So I yelled down to my son to check the furnace. He said everything was OK. He came up the stairs and then you felt the house shift back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for about 10 seconds. I've never felt anything like it. And it's so interesting. The dogs felt it before you did. They, they, you said they, they started barking. Right. They, they initially they started barking, I would say, about one or two seconds before you felt an explosion. You, I mean, you heard an explosion and that's what I thought it was. It hit New Jersey. It hit New York. It hit Philadelphia, even Vermont, all reporting feeling the trembling. And um, I would say about 20 after 10, if that was the time, um, Thank you. there was a gigantic explosion sound. And um, it was like, I looked around the club, there were about 75 people here, and everybody was looking around. It's like, that's not normal. And then a couple of the United employees came over my way, and one of them said, what was that? And uh, somebody else said, I've never heard anything like that. As the tremors were being felt throughout the city, of course, um, as we take a look at it here. You know, it's yeah. interesting because some people were saying it felt like a train was going by when you kinda, were talking to Maurice like Dubois. Yeah. Were, wasn't he saying he thought a train was going by, but he doesn't have a train line right next to, to his place? And the tremors sent a web of cracks into a driveway in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it was pretty scary. My uh, heart is like still breathing. <laughs> and, you know, 10 minutes away, someone I know didn't feel it. And then 15 minutes the other way, they felt it. So it's just, it's just very odd and kind of scary. With shockwaves felt 300 miles away. People in at least 10 states and even right here in the nation's capital experienced some shaking. The aftershocks are still coming tonight. It was just very strong. You know, I and I, actually, I'm actually still hearing rumblings. I don't know what it is. And just a little bit ago, I felt a like, I don't know, a tremor, aftershock. Like I said, I don't, I'm not used to this stuff. Huh. So we well, are did, still did, hearing. Ashley, was it, <laughs> was it similar to what you heard initially more than an hour ago? Um, not, no, not as strong. Definitely not as strong. But every, like, five, ten minutes, maybe spacing out longer, it sounds like thunder. And I don't know what it is. Um, if it has something to do with the earthquake, but I'm definitely hearing it. And then, like I said, a little bit ago, again, felt something not definitely not as strong, but it was something. Um, so I don't know if that's the result of the earthquake, but like I said, I'm right by the epicenter and that was just very surreal. Wow. Yeah, and that's what you see. You wow. can see that stuff falling from the walls. The uh, dog there, a little bit freaked out by this. Yeah, you hear the force of that quake as the dog stood atop a dining room table. Another one was, if you could see it, wandering down below. Their owner wrote on social media, yes, our husky sleeps on the dining room table while we're not home. In Middlesex, you could see and hear when books and items fell off the shelves inside that home. You could see how intense the shaking of the camera was. And that's what people described feeling throughout their body at 1023 this morning in this area. At this point, officials here in Hunterdon County urging people or business owners to report any damage that's occurred so they could get a sense of really how widespread the impacts are. And by the way, this is the second earthquake this area has experienced in about a month. I was talking to my husband. He said he noticed 
a bunch of birds hiding under bushes right before the earthquake because he had his stores down in Lebanon. Um, so that's, you know, maybe they sense something. Yeah. A- Ashley, I, j- I don't want to harp on this, but mm-hmm. what you were just describing to us a moment ago, was that still happening mm-hmm. or is that over? Um, well, I, I mean, I haven't heard anything since I've been on the phone with you, but I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm anticipating hearing the, that thundery sound again. It's, I don't know what that's from. I, it sounds like thunder. Okay. It's the only way I can explain it. Were you surprised by how far reaching these reports were for an earthquake that was centered in New Jersey? I was surprised. You talked about the fact that it's been since the 17 and 1800s that we felt this kind of shake and this kind of magnitude earthquake in the greater New York City area. So here we are, we're inside the United Nations Security Council meeting and we wanna see the expressions on their face. Everybody says, what in the world's going on? Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place for children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Yeah. Earthcam even capturing the Statue of Liberty shaking. This picture was taken during the storms yesterday. The lightning bolt seems to have directly hit and come out of Libby Liberty's torch there. So I don't know, you can almost take it in two different ways. Lightning coming from the sky and hitting the torch, or maybe the torch was just firing up a big strong bolt to the sky. It was a little scary. It was a little weird. Is that an earthquake? The power of the quake split this road in Union, ruptured a water main in nearby Chester. Now, at this moment, New York's emergency crews are checking all critical infrastructure like tunnels and the Brooklyn Bridge you see behind me for any hidden damage or fractures. Also, we just felt an aftershock. It has a preliminary magnitude of 4.0. The governor warned about this. And Nora, the USGS, warns that the threat of aftershocks lasts a full week. But not New York. We don't have big earthquakes here. I've been, God, I've well, been I don't big. know, but between With the these earthquake buildings and the here. eclipse, I'm going to church this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Subtle, but enough to make most look up and wonder. I did feel some shaky stuff going underneath me. I was like, it felt almost like a train uh, or something, like similar to the subway. Yankees third base coach Luis Rojas looked around to see who else noticed. I looked around. I did make make eye contact with uh, uh, Trevino, and we both were like, "Did you feel something?" He said, "Yes." 